In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the topic, how to start a small business. Now, starting a small business is an exciting journey filled with opportunities, challenges, and the potential for great rewards. It begins with a winning idea, passion, and the right skills. But transforming this idea into a successful venture requires more than just enthusiasm. It requires careful planning and execution. The road to establishing a small business can be daunting. Yet, with the right approach, anyone can navigate it successfully. And by the way, if you ever decide to make an LLC and would like to get help in starting one, then make sure to use my affiliate link down in the description of this video and sign up with Northwest Registered Agents. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out. Plus, clicking on my link doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. And with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, setting up a small business is like building a house where a sturdy foundation is indispensable. This bedrock is formed by elements such as a well-researched idea, a detailed business plan, ample funding, the correct business structure, a distinctive name, and all required registrations and permits. It's the interplay of these factors that ensures your business isn't just a flash in the pan, but a venture that thrives over years. A thorough idea validation process securing the initial capital, choosing whether to be an LLC or a sole proprietorship, crafting a name that sticks, and navigating the maze of legal requirements are steps that cannot be skipped. Each step is like a brick in your foundation, essential for the stability and growth of your business. Without attention to these foundational elements, even the most promising businesses may falter. Now, a compelling business idea serves as the spark for any successful venture. It often springs from identifying a gap in the market or refining an existing product or service. Passion and expertise in the field turn this spark into into a flame, driving the business forward. However, financial planning is equally critical as different business concepts come with varying startup costs. Patience is a virtue here. Pouring time, effort, and funds into the business is usually necessary before seeing any return on investments. Understanding the cycle of investments and return helps set realistic expectations and prepares entrepreneurs for the journey ahead. Now, the allure of starting a business from home lies in its simplicity and personal comfort. It promises a level of flexibility unmatched by traditional traditional office setups, allowing entrepreneurs to craft a work environment that suits their lifestyles. Yes, it's crucial to acknowledge the challenges, such as adhering to local zoning laws and ensuring your business activities don't negatively affect your neighbors. These considerations ensure that your home business operates smoothly without legal issues or community offenses. Balancing the comforts of home with the professionalism required for a business demands a thoughtful approach. It's about finding harmony between your personal and professional life and ensuring one doesn't overshadow the other. Embarking on the entrepreneurial path is a multi-step adventure, beginning with in-depth market research. This initial phase is about understanding who will buy your product or service and the competitive landscape. Insights gathered here shape your business plan, a document that lays out your vision, goals, and strategies for reaching them. A solid business plan does more than guide your journey. It persuades others to join or invest in your venture. It's your venture's blueprint, demonstrating its viability to potential investors, partners, and employees. Crafting this plan thoughtfully can mean the difference between a business that flourishes and one that flunders, making it an indispensable tool for any new business owner. Getting the money to start your business is a big deal. You might think about using your own money, getting a loan, finding investors, or asking people online to give money through crowdfunding. Each way of getting money has good points and bad points. You need to think hard about which one is best for you and your business idea. Some ways might give you more control over your business, while others could mean sharing your profits. It's all about finding the right balance between what you need and what you're willing to give up. Picking the right way to set up your business is super important too. It affects how much you pay in taxes, what rules you need to follow, and how much of your own money is at risk if things don't go well. You could run your business on your own, with a partner, make it an official company, or something in between. Each choice has its own set of rules and effects on your money and legal stuff. Think about what fits your business dream best and what will help it grow in the long run. Coming up with a great name for your business is crucial. It's the first thing people will learn about your business, so it has to make a good impression, be easy to remember, and fit what your business is all about. You also have to make sure no one else is using it and that it's okay to use legally. Once you have the perfect name, you need to make it official and get the right papers to make sure your business is on the up and up. This means no trouble with the law or paying extra money because you missed a step. You'll also need an employer identification number, or EIN, from the IRS 
for a bunch of reasons like taxes, hiring people, and opening a bank account for your business. Having a special bank account for your business is a smart move. It keeps your personal money separate from your business money, which makes things clearer and more professional. It also makes your business look more real and trustworthy to customers and suppliers. Making sure your business is covered with the right insurance is like having a safety net. It protects you from unexpected problems that could cost a lot of money or even close your business. Different types of insurance cover different things like mistakes you might make, general liability, accidents at work, workers' compensation, and problems with something you sell, product liability. It's all about finding the right mix of insurance to cover the risks unique to your business. This way, you can focus on growing your business, knowing you're protected against big surprises. Choosing how to handle your money and pay your team is a big decision. You can do it yourself, hire someone to help, or use a service that handles payroll. No matter which way you go, it's important to get this set up the right way from the start. Doing this helps you follow the rules for taxes and paying your team so you don't run into problems later. It's not just about paying bills and salaries. It's about keeping your business in good standing and making sure everything runs smoothly. Having a strong online presence is essential in today's world. A good website and being active on social media help people find your business and learn what you're all about. This is even more important if your business is online. You might sell things directly, work with others to send out your products, earn money by promoting other businesses, or write and get paid through ads. Each way has its own benefits and challenges, but they all start with people being able to find you online. Finally, thinking about health and retirement benefits is not just about taking care of yourself and your team. It's also a smart business move. Offering good benefits can attract talented people to work for you. It shows you care about their health and future, which can make them more loyal and motivated. These benefits don't just help everyone feel secure. They also help your business stand out and succeed in the long run. It's an investment in the happiness and health of your team, which is key to building a successful business. In summary, starting a small business is a complex but rewarding process. Process. It requires careful planning, dedication, and a willingness to navigate the challenges that come your way. By following these steps and maintaining a focus on your goals, you can build a successful business that stands the test of time. And by the way, if you decide to build an LLC and would like to get help in starting one, then make sure to use my affiliate link down in the description of this video and sign up with Northwest Registered Agents. They're professionals and they'll be able to help you out. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me support the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time.